Is graphic design a good career or is it a dying field? In this video, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything regarding graphic design and will give you the real pros and cons of it as an in-house designer and freelance graphic designer. Hi, I'm Lauren with For The Creatives, where we provide graphic designers with tips, tools, and tutorials to expand their business. You may have heard conflicting information about if graphic design is still a good career choice or not. And I did a video earlier that went into the overall statistics, which shows it is actually growing overall as an industry. I've had several people asking me to provide more insight and information with regards to graphic design today and how this industry will be affected by the current and future economy. And while I don't have a magic ball to see the future, it is very clear that no matter what happens, as long as there are businesses out there, graphic design will always be needed. Some people have also asked me about the details of the job. Is it fun? Is it grueling? Can you still make a full living off of it? And I've had the opportunity to work for six years in-house at a publishing house and then over four years with my own design company. So I have insight into both. First off, if you love to draw, do art and do illustration, you need to know that graphic design involves much more than just illustrations, which is just a fraction of the skills. And some designers don't even use illustration, though it's really helpful for logos if you do have a familiarity with drawing. All I wanted to do at first was to be an illustrator, and I kind of fell into having to learn graphic design as my job required it. And I'll be honest, I at first really disliked it, and I rejected the idea of being a designer. But once I understood that everything in this world is essentially designed, from books to websites and YouTube thumbnails, social media posts, flyers, business cards, and on and on and on, and that knowing this skill opens up unlimited capabilities, I embraced it and fell deeply in love with graphic design. But it's not just about making something look pretty. It's about solving problems in a visual way. It's understanding typography, layout, spacing, colors, and how to attract people to read whatever you are designing. Secondly, I will just say this at the start. One of the requirements of a designer is to have thick skin when clients or coworkers provide criticism to you about how they do or don't like your designs. You can't take it personally, but need to be willing to accept that people will want to make changes to your designs and learn from them. Why did something not work and how can you apply it to your designs next time to avoid making that same mistake or getting the same reject? I have a video that goes over a seven step process about what you need to know to become a graphic designer without going to school. And yes, it does take a lot of hard work, practice and dedication. But if you have a love and an eye for making things look good, you can get there. When you're working in a company, you have very specific projects that are all for that one brand. You will have all sorts of requests on a daily basis for small design projects and have to stay focused as well on long-term projects, such as building a new website or ads, postcards, flyers, etc., for launching, let's say, a new marketing campaign. There is a limit to the level of innovation that you can provide as it usually has to go through many levels of approval, but you can still add your own creativity and should do so to elevate and grow this company. It's nice to have a dependable salary too, but you may get burnt out doing a lot of routine designs and not getting to explode your potential. In your own business, you not only have to have the skill of graphic design, but you have to do all the other things that keep a business going. This includes finding clients, sending invoices, having your business registered with the government, and growing your business. There's no limit to how much you can expand except on what effort you are willing to put into it. You can choose your own schedule, choose the type of projects you want to work on, and not have any boss hanging over your head. Instead of dealing with the employees within the company, you have to work with clients who can range from absolutely amazing to horrific. The best clients will give you a great understanding of the project, excellent feedback to work with on any corrections and pay on time and work with you to complete these projects in a few days or weeks. The horrific clients are on the opposite end, providing way too much detailed direction where you might as well give them the design tools so they can do it themselves or providing no direction and then just saying they don't like something with no explanation. They can drag out projects for months and not be willing to pay. It's inevitable, you will get both sides of the coin. 
but it's usually only 20% that are really a little bit difficult and only the 2% that are truly unbearable. And there are simple ways to remove these types of clients from your business or even prevent working with them before getting started. And I will be making videos on how to avoid problematic clients in the near future, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button to know when these videos are uploaded. In terms of paying, it is all up to the type of clients and the way you position yourself. If you wanna be competing with designers who are offering their services for free or $5, then you are not going to get very far and will be miserable. If you have practiced your butt off and know your craft, then there is no reason that you will not make a good amount of money. I have another video, which I highly recommend you check out, that lays out how to not struggle as a freelance graphic designer and how to actually stand out in the crowd. If you really wanna make this into a strong business, you absolutely can. It's all about positioning. Well, I hope that helped to give you an overview as a career of graphic designer, and please let me know any other subjects you would like to hear about. Please subscribe to this channel as I post one video every week to help you with tips, tools, and tutorials. And be sure to like this video and share it with anyone else you know who is looking to get into this field. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <music>